Hi everybody, it's Dr. Fletcher. I just wanted to uh, um, introduce today's topic by asking you first to listen to this brief, brief introduction that I'm about to um, play for you. And then when you're done, if you could jot down responses to the questions that I ask in the presentation, they include list three possible ways that you have heard you can com catch a common cold. And second, what is a cold exactly and why do I feel so cruddy? So we're going to play this video, um, and then you can listen. Hey, everybody. It's Dr. Fletcher. Uh, how are you? I just wanted to um, let you know I've got a little bit of a cold. As you can tell, it's affecting my voice. And uh, actually, I wanted to get your help. Um, I, uh, I've heard a bunch of different theories for why we get colds, and I thought maybe we could talk a little bit about those um, today and see if we could figure out what really does cause the common cold. So, so I was, I was talking, talking to, to uh, some, some students, and one of them said, oh, you must have been outside without a jacket on. And I said, really? Is that a reason for a cold? They're like, yeah, my mom told me that it, whenever I was a kid, I couldn't go outside without a jacket. If I went outside without a jacket on, um, I would catch a cold. And then another student said, yeah, my mom said that uh, I could never go outside with my hair wet. That uh, having your hair wet um, causes a cold. Uh, and um, other, other people just said being outside in general when it's cold out uh, gives you a higher likelihood of, of catching a cold. So it kind of puzzles me because I, I had heard those things before, but, you know, sometimes people say things based on common sense, not based on science. And so I thought maybe we could explore today um, what our beliefs are around what we've heard about what causes a common cold and then see if we could do some research and figure it out. So. What I'd like you to do, if you can, is in the space below, I'd like you to write uh, three or four common ways that you've heard that you can catch a common cold. And they might have come from your parents or your grandma or from your teachers or from any source that you can think of. What are some common ways that you've heard you can catch a common cold? That's the first thing. And then the second part is, can you tell me what what a common, in your mind, in your eyes, what is a common cold? What is, is it a, what kind of pathogen is it? What, what happens to you? Why, do, why am I sounding like this and coughing and feeling tired and my muscles ache and all of those things? So if you could talk about what causes it, how it's caused, and what's going on in your body, before, Before we start, start class, that, that would help me a lot to know where we are with this issue. issue. Okay. okay. All right. When we get in class, class what's going to happen is we're going to do a little bit of research online to see if we can discover the causes of what a common cold is. If it's the same as the flu, if they're the same thing, if a cold's just a, a, an easier version of the flu, uh, how they might be the same or different if they are different. And what causes it? So I look forward to finding those answers out with you later on today. All right? I'll talk to you soon. Bye.